Hi everyone, today's headlines. Manipur violence, court's intervention depends on government's action, says Supreme Court. District Hospital Dimapur registered 66 dengue cases in two months. NST bus station to Razu Point in Kohima declared no parking zone for three days. Miss Crane abducted truck driver in Nagaland's Dimapur district before releasing later. Nagaland to experience more rain, Dimapur records highest temperature in July. News in details. Manipur violence, court's intervention depends on government's action, says Supreme Court. The Supreme Court on Monday said the extent of its intervention in the Manipur violence case would depend on what the government has done so far. And if the court is satisfied that the authorities have done adequately, it, it may not intervene at all. A bench headed by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrajud observed if the apex court is not satisfied with the steps taken by the government, then there is a grave and urgent need to intervene immediately. District Hospital Dimapur registered 66 dengue cases in two months. A total of 66 cases of dengue were reported at the District Hospital Dimapur over the last two months, with 51 of these cases detected in Dimapur area. Peter Sangdam, District Vector Bone Disease Consultant Dimapur informed that out of the 66 dengue cases detected between June and July this year, 15 were imported cases with 12 originating from Assam and 3 from other districts of Nagaland. The official said that majority of the dengue cases were reported from Nagarjan area and Dimapur town area and some positive cases from Chumukudima district. However, no cases have been reported from Newland district so far. NST bus station to Razu Point in Koima declared no parking zone for three days. The Deputy Commissioner of Koima Shanavasi has declared that the stretch of road from the present NST bus station to Razu Point has no parking zone between 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. from August 2 to August 4. This in view of the stretch scab documentation, video and photography documentation to be carried out by the Koima Smart City Development Limited in consonance with the directive of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. The DC also asks to citizens to utilize the multi-level car parking during the three days. Miscreants update truck driver in Nagaland's Dimapur district before releasing later. A truck driver who was on a delivery duty for soon to be opened Reliance Smart Point at Burma Camp in Dimapur was abducted by two unidentified miscreants on Monday morning. The Gaon Bura of UNB Naga Colony Burma Camp Toshi Ozugam told the news agency that the driver was unloading the goods delivered for the Reliance Smart Point store when the miscreants came in a Maridi Suzuki Alto car around 8.30 am to 9.30 am and abducted him. It is said that the building that houses the Reliance store belongs to Dimapur Urban Council Chairman Federation, President Zazi Viku Zegit Sato. The GB informed that the truck driver was later released at the Burmakiam Junction after seizing the vehicle key. The miscreant also took the phone numbers of the driver and the person in charge of the company as well as left their phone number for further negotiation. Nagaland to experience more rain, Dimapur records highest temperature in July. Nagaland is likely to experience very heavy rainfall over the next few days according to the Indian Meteorological Department. Moderate fairly widespread to widespread rainfall with isolated heavy rainfalls is very likely over the northeastern region from August 1 to 5, with isolated very heavy rainfall likely over Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura started between August 1 and 3, while Arunachal Pradesh is expected to experience on August 2 and 3. Updated IMD. That's all for now. To guess the series, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.